Hi, this is a bonus lesson. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think the consensus is this is a blue button. <sighs> and I will let you know what I choose. I like the blue button. And someone said they didn't want to part with it. I have like a whole mess of them because <laughs> I made them. Uh, you know what? I will put in the description the class where I got did it for the for the button and um, something else I was going to put. There's a couple other things I was going to put in the description. What was it? Well, if I think of it as I'm talking, I'll do it. So first of all, um, my bag is done, but I wanted to show you, you should always, you know, sign your work. So now I have these made every year and because I don't make very many things, I always have leftover. Uh, so it has my initials and the year. Uh, I'll put the link where I got these. They weren't that expensive and, uh, I, uh, I'm trying to think. I, I, I usually get I, the the smallest grouping, which was 25, I think. And I'm sorry, I've got a yawn. It's really rude. <laughs> uh, so at the smallest grouping, which was 25, I always have some left over. And but you know, I wanted to do that. Uh, I also on my on my junk journals, I have a, an embosser that I emboss, and it says. Pandora's Junk Journal, certified one of a kind, and it has a P, I think, on it. And uh, I could put the embosser address, too, if anyone's interested in that, uh, where I got that, <laughs> if I can find it. And what was the other thing? And then in there, because I just put that on my journals, and then I usually sign it and date it with the, with you know, the year or so. Anyway, so I thought I, I did this, and I wanted to show one other thing. So I went ahead and made myself uh, a small guy like this. And what I intend to do is, is it's the same way. I intend to make a, a pin cushion out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew. I don't need to leave it open very much because I only, you know, just I'm putting that stuff in there, that walnut stuff. And thank you for whoever commented that they use it for, oh, what was it? Something. You used it for something. <laughs> Like in pet stores, use it for probably the um, litter or something. So thank you for that comment. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to sew around here in my with my sewing machine because you want, I mean, you could do it by hand, but I'm going to do the sewing machine because I want it really secure, you know, really secure and tight. And I'll probably leave this much open. And so when I, well, I have to turn it in right side out. So I should probably leave a little more because it's going to be too hard. I'll probably, I'll leave about this much maybe. And then uh, I'll come back when that's done. That'll be the next part of this, okay? So right there. So we'll go around, but we'll leave a part open so you can uh, turn it right side out and then put the, the walnut, uh, the walnut uh, nutshells inside. So I wanted to show you that. Isn't this so pretty? Anyway. Uh, and as far as that goes, um, I bought that kit from Rachel that had blue. She has she had two kits. I think the blue was sold out, and she had one that ha was like a I don't know if she called it amber or yellow or whatever. Uh, but uh, it's for and with hemp and stuff. But she sent me that this tied it all up. Isn't that so pretty? I might use this to tie up uh, the bag over here because wouldn't that? It's just kind of perfect. So, yeah, I'm going to probably use that to tie the bag up. I probably leave, I could sew this if I wanted to and just, uh, but I don't, I like the, I like the frayed edges. I'm going to do just like that. Okay. Thanks, Rachel. That was perfect. Now I had a comment from, I'm going to use this to demonstrate. I had a comment from Judy Dell, uh, 4902. That was her, her that's her name. Um, so she wanted to know, uh, did I sew the sides by overcast stitch? Um, after you sewed your fabric stitch on. No, I'll show you what I did. You can do that. You could do overcast stitch. What I did was, so here's like the extra piece. I'm just using, you know, opposite, just so you can see it's a different thing. So I just went like this, like that. Then I sewed, I sewed a row here and I sewed another row here and then I put it together, um, put it together to make the, the pocket. And I just sewed these here like that. You could do overcast and put them together like that to give you a little bit more room if you um, accidentally 
um, made it too small. I've done that before and I, I have done the overcast stitch before, but that's what she means, guys. She means instead, so what I did was I just sewed these two together like that, like just straight stitches, like, like the other one. So it looks like three rows of stitches. Oh, well, let's, where is it? It's right here, duh, right here. So see this right here? Let's see if this light makes it too bright. Oh man, I don't know. Oh, that's a lower one. No, that's off. I thought I had two sizes. Okay, well, um, let's turn this guy off. How does that look? Too many lights. Okay, so if you can see here, I sewed two here and then I put it together and I sewed it right together like that. I didn't do the overcast stitch, but you definitely could and it would give you a smidgen more room on each side. And then what I did was I just continued up to finish the other stitch here. So that's how I did that. So see, it's, it's put together like that. It's in here. Uh, so yeah, but I have certainly done the overcast before and that's like the blanket stitch or so when you go, you know, like that and then it would give you what and it's about what? Less than an eighth of oh, sixteenth. So if you had two sixteenths, that'd be an eighth and you have an eighth over on the other side, that would be uh, <laughs> one eighth and one eighth is two eighths, which is one fourth. Give you a little bit more room. Like if you just had it needed a little bit more room. So um, I'm going to sew this and I will get back to you to show you that because I'm excited about doing this because I need this. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. I sewed around it. I did I did double stitching because in case it's kind of a, you know, it's going to take some abuse. I went around it here at the corner. I just, I clipped around here. Not, not the whole thing. I just clipped here and I kind of cut off some of the bulk there. Not all of it because then it'll just fray into the corner. And then I'm trying to stick it through here and to pull this out like this, which is very difficult. I don't know if I can do it on camera. I'll try. Once you get it through a little bit, then it starts. Uh... Let's see. Let's try. If we go like that, get something to push it through. There we go. Like this. Okay. So now this is very, a little bit difficult, <laughs> especially if you have no strength. And by the way, I saw the neurologist, my, you know, I have a new neurologist because my one of 25 years uh, retired. And this guy, he's not that young, so I have a feeling he's going to retire too, too, but whatever. It's really hard. I don't like finding new doctors. I think you guys know that. Anyway, he was very nice. Uh, he helped me uh, with a lot of things. I mean, so I've seen the one neurologist for 25 years. Come on, please. It's so difficult. I have to bring it up, guys. I'm sorry. I have to... I have to bring it closer so I have a little bit more. Oh, come on. Okay, let's try this guy now like this. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, my new neurologist. So, I probably should have left it open more, but I'm going to, I'm determined to do it. It can be done. <laughs> uh, so, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, my neurologist. So, he, uh, he's very good, and I understand him well, um, I just say that because my 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 one for 25 years was Chinese, had a very heavy Chinese accent, and it was really hard for me to understand her. But I liked her because she was very personable, and I saw her for all those years, and she was, you know, we had a very good relationship. Okay, come on. You can do it. Okay, we got to get through this hump right here. It'll be okay. Oh, gosh, guys. Okay. <laughs> And anyway, so he, you know, for years I've, I've struggled with, um, what turns out to be restless leg syndrome, but you know, I didn't, I didn't know that. And I thought it was just MS stuff. And she, you know, for years I complained to her and she didn't really fig she didn't give me anything for it. And, uh, you know, it's bad because at night it's like, I, my legs can't get still. They have to move around all the time to try and get the, stop the pain. It's like, it's not a very fun thing. Restless leg syndrome. Anyway. Um, let's go like that. I hope I didn't go through something like I did. If I did, I'll just have to fix it. Oh my gosh. So as you can see, this is really hard. I have to bring it up again. Sorry. Anyway, so he had given me some medicine for that. I mean, I told him about it and uh, he gave me some medicine for that. And, uh, I can't believe the difference. So that was been really good. I told him that, you know, I couldn't even believe how wonderful, how much different it is. Uh, where's my pliers? I bet I have to pull it through my pliers. I'm not quite strong enough. 
I know I have some out there. Okay, I'll stop and start, sorry. Okay, I heard you yelling at me. I had to make it bigger. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> oh, guys. It's my kids, it's my grandkids say, guys, guys. <laughs> so yeah, I had to make it bigger. I was trying to make less work for myself, but that's not gonna happen, I guess. Okay, so here's my, isn't it so cute? So I just have to, uh, work on I have all kinds of tools here but whether or not I know where the certain tools are is a whole nother oh here I'll use this guy this guy will be perfect this guy's perfect so we'll take him and just get this through like this and just like that come on you can do it a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more so but there's so many layers of this that it doesn't you know if something, I, I did try to do a good job, but like right here, I didn't put anything over that, but it's got, it's on top of another piece. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm sorry, it's probably not focusing. I'm really sorry. Okay, so I'm just turning this at, inside out right here, if I can get it. Oh, there we go, like this. So I just, re, I just sew this one part again, because after I tore it open. <laughs> Come on, you. Okay. I know I can get a pin and pull it out, but I'm already doing this. Come on. Anyway, so that medicine he gave me really has helped me. And I'm, I've been sleeping so much better because my legs don't wake me up and I don't have to move them around all the time. My husband goes crazy. I think it's just a thing you do to try and stop the pain. I think it's just a, an, an involuntary thing. Okay, look how cute. So see, I both both sides are pretty, so I could just choose. Oh, to this time I want to look at this side, or I want to look at this side. Super cute. I don't know if I have enough. I bought more of this, but I don't know if I have enough to put in here. I don't think I do. That's why I bought more. Unscented, of course. Okay. I know I should use a funnel, but I'm not going to because I'm a big baby. Okay, I'm sorry I can't do it right there. Come on, you can do it. These things are so cute. I keep hitting you. Oh, it might be enough. Won't that be so great? So, so far, see? Look how cute. Yeah, I got it all over. What else is new? So, this might be good enough. Let's just see. Okay. Oh, look, it's so cute. This would be perfect. I oh, didn't need to buy the other one. <laughs> okay. This is adorable. So when this is sewed together here, I could do it by hand, but I'm thinking I'm just, I might just do it on the machine. I don't know. I guess I could do it by hand. I could probably do it by hand and make it, um, make it sturdy. See, then you move this out after you sew it and it'll be perfect for pins. So there you go. That was probably up too much. Let's go back some, there we go. So it focuses. So I put all the shells in here. And then I'm just gonna stitch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use a. Um, I was gonna sew it down here on the sewing machine because it might be better, but you know, let's try a. I'll try and just stitch a normal, like a blanket stitch, but super close together. Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, I'm not gonna wait till you answer me. So, <laughs> if I do it on the sewing machine, at least it's very it's very sturdy. Get this guy out like this. Come on, you can do it. Like this. Like I know it's so dumb that I'm so I should have made it rounded. Then I wouldn't sit there and think, well, that's kind of crooked. Okay, and this guy too. Well, I'll have to make him like that. I'm very excited about this. I can't wait to put my pins in there. Nice. Okay, so yep, I'm gonna go sew this. I'll come back and show you the final product. So hi, I'm back. Um, I finished it, look how cute it is. So I just uh, did it by hand and you can't really tell 
and I think it you can't even tell. So I, I just did, a, first of all, I did a blanket stitch, and then I decided to go back over it again with just a normal stitch to kind of put it together. And then I decided I wanted to put some little beads on here. And these beads, I meant to look it up before I talk to you. I'm going to show you how I put it, put it on here. So um, I'm having trouble with my thing. Second, I'm going to try and go like this. Stay there, please. Okay, I'm going to try and bring you down a little bit like that. Okay. So now um, I can probably hit my hand here, but I'm going to try not to. Okay, so over here, I'm going to put the last bead on. And uh, I just, what I used was, um, it's called, uh, <laughs> it'll come to me. It's called uh, upholstery thread. Upholstery thread, and so it's a little bit uh, thicker, not thicker, I don't know, stronger, I don't know. And it's a, a machine uh, thread. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this. I want to I want to put the bead right here around the, around the center if I can. It's really hard to see it. <laughs> so now I'm going to, I'm trying to see the bead, see this on here? I'm trying to get the, I did. So what you do is you make a, a small knot and then you gently pull. I learned this from quilting, from a quilting class years ago. And you pull the knot through, through, but try and catch it in, in the quilt, whatever, in your thing. So you don't see it, uh, but it's caught in there. And here's the bead I'm using. Now these beads, I don't know if you can see. If I put it on, look, I got that stuff all over here. Wait a second. Let's go like this. I'll go like this, like this, like this. Come here, trash can. I might be able to use this here. Let's go back to this guy. This, like that. Okay. This, here's the, here's the bead. I don't know if you can see the bead, but it's a, it's an, it's a vintage. I believe it's 1930s could be up to the 50s I don't know so it's almost 100 years old these beads but and I don't remember what they're called but they're like an opal glass I don't think you can tell let's go like this let's see can you see the little um sh yeah I think you can see it little little um sh sh shots little flashes flashes <laughs> looking for the word flash flashes of light here that are sort of um you know, it's in the glass. You can see it really good in the light or different lights, but they're just, it's so beautiful. I don't know if you can. Anyway, I thought I'm going to put one of those on here. So, uh, so now we're going to do, I'm sorry. Oh, I hit you. See, I told you it's so, it's really hard to do it when you're, okay, there you go. So he's going to be on there like that. Then I'm going to go back through here. Hoping you can see it. Uh, just sort of, owie, man, this is really hard. Like that. I, re I watched um, Brooks at Recreation by Brooks. I will, I will, because um, I was going to go all the way around with beads. And man, it got really hard because of how thick everything is and how my hands hurt. And so I thought I'll just put them on the ends. And I didn't know if I had enough of what I wanted to use. So I gave that up. But um, um, she did a really great tutorial on putting the beads on the side of a paper that would just, you guys will love. So now I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to put it on a couple times like this. Ooh, I, maybe I'm not. Oh, it's not going to go through now, I don't think, because I already have the thread, so that's fine. We'll just go like this. I'll show you what I'm going to do now. Okay. I doubled it up, which can be a very big hassle if you're trying to uh, sew, because it always gets, uh, but it always gets uh, tangled up. But if you use... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab it through here to get it more centered. If you use, see, I can pull it down here. I was going to go through it again, uh, the whole thing, but I'm not going to. Because it won't go through. I got to do a different, I have to get a different uh, needle, and I don't want to do that. Okay, uh, like this. And then I'm going to just sort of, uh, yeah, just like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put a knot. Well, I think I'm going to go because I can see the thread over here a little more. So I'm taking this, I'm gonna go through here. Anyway, Recreations by Brooke, she did a wonderful tutorial on putting uh, beads on the end of a page. Oh, it's so great. So I'm gonna link it uh, in here. I told you how many things am I gonna link? <laughs> 
So, because uh, I think everyone would love to see that. And you should, if you're not subscribed to her, you should subscribe because she's wonderful, fun. And I bought a journal from her recently and I will be doing a video showing that. But I don't have it yet. It hasn't come yet. I know she mailed it. So, so what I'm going to do here is just kind of put some knots here. I might even try and grab this guy right here on the go through here, go through that, this little thing right there. And then uh, knot him down if I can find the edge. And try and just, I'm sorry, I hit you because I can't see. Oh, this is the most bodgy channel on YouTube. Okay, but it's fun. So you just make some knots here so that it, you, you feel it's secure. And since I didn't go all the way around like I wanted to, you know, they're all separately done, so it doesn't matter. And then what, I, what you do, this is another thing I learned from quilting. If you take your needle and you push it through whatever you're making and pull it out another area like this, see, like that. You pull it taut like this so that it, um, whatever, I, and I have huge scissors is all right here, so we'll just, and then you just cut it like that then it will pull back into the quilt the back of the quilt or in this case this this little uh, guy here and it will help secure it so so yeah this is him so I'm going to bring you up some more if I can just like this come on you you gotta you have to help me here <laughs> I got a new contraption that Juanette showed us okay Let's go up like this. Please stay there, just like that. It's not gonna stay. I'm having trouble with this, as you can see. Let's see if I can bring it back, go back. I'm trying to go this like this, like this, like this. I guess I can't. I guess I'm probably zoomed out. Okay, well, um, Juanita's craft table, she, uh, talked about this uh, where she can mount it up high and it comes down. And so I bought it. I just haven't done it yet. We haven't done it yet. So here's my little guy, look, my little pin cushion. And uh, I don't know if I brought, I didn't bring all this stuff. Oh, here I have some here. Let's put the red ones in because it's so cute. Here's one like that. And here's another red one. Kind of highlighting red apparently. <laughs> like that. Oh, there's no more red. Oh, here's one. Oh, yeah, there's two. There's three. Oh, what's wrong with me like that? Look at how pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. So there we go. Here's my pin cushion. I hope uh, you guys enjoy that. I, I mean, I hope that it's... Uh, this will be nice because I have, right now I have it on a magnetic thingy. And um, it's hard to... Because everything gets all... Um, like if I had a bunch of threaded needles, they get all entangled and messed up because of the because of the way the 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 sky is the whatever this is, the magnet the magnetic thingy. So now I could stick them in here, and they won't get as messed up. And the magnetic stuff, I could just put that somewhere else. I've already lost a couple of my must be somewhere out there. My fun needles aren't here anyway. I got two there. So this is my little guy. Isn't he so cute? And I thought, I just, uh, a couple of you said you wanted to try to do this, but you were a little nervous. All you got to do, it, let's try, just do this one. Oh, I was going to tell you the size because I, you know, I figure, I never tell you the, the size of anything. And the reason is I figure, well, you'll just do your own. Okay, this is a huge thing. This is ridiculous, but it's all I got right here. So let's go like this. So this guy is about four inches Square. I'm going to guess it's square. I tried to make it square. It might not be square. So um, a little bit. Well, let's see. Yeah, so it's a little bit shorter on one side. It's okay. It's my bodgy work. It's about four inches square. And then uh, what you do is, so, and then you got to add the, so for, if you wanted this size I made, this is four inches, but you're going to add about, I think I would do it five inches square. Well, then you'd have to do it double, 10 inches. So you use a, a 10 inch square piece of fabric and you don't have to be so intense. You could just sew other fabrics on it. Just, you know, something easy. I put, I used a piece of hemp. In fact, you could just use hemp and then just do little embroidery X's or something on it. You don't have to do it all like this. 
Uh, but if you wanted to do this, you could just put fabrics. I put little square fabrics on top and, you know, added the other stuff. But, uh, yeah, you could just do it like that. And so this ended up being, the one I made for Rachel was quite a bit bigger. I think it's, I'm going to think it's going to be two times the size, but maybe not as thick. So I think it was probably 10 by, I don't know, three or four. Well, I guess it could be four. Hers was a bigger roll type thing. Uh, but I decided, well, I'm going to do this for you guys and just do a square. Why not? That's easy. I mean, I, I, I got that out in just a second. It wasn't even a big deal. So then, oh, let's put it on this side now. <laughs> like a child. Okay, is that all off? I thought I had it. I got it all off. Okay. Let's see, look at this side now. So we can put the, a needle here like that. Some pins over here. One. Of course, then you'll have to buy yourself some new pins, glass top pins or whatever, so that, you know, so that it looks really cool. <laughs> I don't need, well, I guess that is a little bit of thread in there I could use. Okay, so look, there it is. And so I'll put, I'll try to remember all those links I told you about in the description. And uh, thanks for joining me in this on this trip. You'll find out what I decided to do about the button when I do the um, reveal of the snippet roll I made and uh, after uh, the wonderful lady gets it. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye.